Hey guys, even here, and we got Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. It finally happened, and we have a lot of interesting things here. First of all, I'm a little bit late with this upload, so I'm sorry if you had to endure an extractive powers video. Just kidding. I mean, yeah, I checked it out, it was okay, but he didn't draw some interesting questions. For example, in this video, we're gonna do a comparison of Nick Walker versus Derek Lunsford, which I think was probably the most interesting part of this guest posing. They actually did a call out and they moved these guys around and it seemed almost like it was a show, an actual show. So again, I think it is very interesting to compare Derek Lunsford and Nick Walker, even though Nick is one week out and Derek is deep into his offseason. But this is the call out that we might see at a Mr. Olympia. We are talking about if Nick Walker can win the Mr. Olympia place like inside of the top three can he really challenge somebody like Derek Lansford and like win the Mr. Olympia? And I think we can kinda answer some of those questions. Also, I gotta take it back about Urs. I was not thinking that he was gonna look actually this big next to the big guys. I thought the difference would be much, much larger, but actually, Urs is holding his own. Like, standing next to Martin Fitzwater, for example, it wasn't that big of a difference, honestly. We're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. Also, Ramon Dino showed up. I didn't know he was gonna show up here. Nobody knew. And he also looked really freaking big, really good. So, for a classic guy, he is definitely one of those that could actually switch to the open. I wouldn't say that about Urs, but Ramon, I can see it. Now I can definitely see it. Look at those classy guys doing the back lat spread. I haven't seen this <laughs> probably ever. I also gotta say, I thought Samson is gonna look worse since he's eight weeks off, but actually, to me, he was he probably looked the most impressive along with uh, Andrew Jacked because those guys are big. They're actually big, they're tall, they're massive, and they're obviously darker than the other guys, and that helps. The other guys, they put some protan on, but probably not much because it's not an actual show. Andrew Jack, as I expected, probably looks the most freaky here. And I would say he does look better than Samson. You're gonna see them compared as well. That's gonna be a very interesting comparison. We're gonna do that separately too. So once again, Samson actually looked pretty good. Again, for being eight weeks off. Imagine if he was like, I don't know, let's say two weeks after the Arnold Classic here. That will probably look the most insane out of all these guys, but yeah, it is what it is. Hunter looks uh, big, really big, but his conditioning is probably the worst here. Maybe Samson is worse, but Samson is just big, he's tall, so he stood out. And Hunter, not really that much if you ask me. Before we get to the comparisons, first let's check out individual routines and let's analyze these guys a little bit more. Nick Walker, surprisingly big midsection. I thought it would be much smaller on stage and his legs are not really popping that much out. The obvious thing is that everybody's thinking his conditioning doesn't look that great, but I think it's just lighting. I think under some really good uh, like show lighting, he would look pretty ripped. And also, I think he's playing his strengths for this show, for the New York Pro, because he's obviously gonna be much, much bigger than everybody. So he doesn't really need to be super, super, super shredded. But I think he's going to be as shredded as he usually is. Because he's one week out. And his coach, Matt Jensen, he's, he's kind of old school. He's not doing that kind of thing when you just walk into the show the way you look one week before. He needs to be careful about that weed taper. As far as most muscular, these two variations are fine, but the crab pose, he's exposing his midsection a little bit too much, so I think you should stick with those two first. Now, now, did you ever see Nick Walker with a bubble gut like this on stage? Competing at a show or guest posing? I never saw this. And I don't think his weed taper was ever this bad. I think his midsection kind of grew a little. I think he put on too much mass and he kind of ruined his lines a little bit more, but he does look freakier than ever. Now he's really playing his strengths. Nobody today is this muscular at this body fat percent. Nobody, for sure. And from behind as well, he looks super impressive. Look at the hamstrings and the back and, and the glutes as well. He is freaking insane. Look at this. This, I think this can challenge Derek Lansford. And also his back lat spread never looked this good. This wide, this complete, with this many details. Look at this. Much, much improved. Crazy improvement. Side shots also very impressive, but this is worrying me. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Nick, but seeing this now, I don't think he really has a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's how I feel right now after watching this, to be honest. 
Overall, probably the most impressive guy on the stage was Andrew Jack. He is very, very deep into his offseason. His last show is Mr. Olympia, and his next show is who knows when. It's not Dubai, bro. So he is very deep, as deep as he can go in the offseason. His conditioning is one of the worst here, but who cares? I mean, this is guest posing. The point is muscle, size. And I think he actually added a lot of size. The legs are looking super big arms, chest, back, and if he keeps it up at this pace and comes in condition at the next show he does, I don't know, I don't think there are many bodybuilders who can stop him. Hunter Labrada, yeah, he, he's crazy, he's big, he's massive, 300 pounds and all that, but like against the other guys, he didn't really stand out that much, I mean the guys who are also in the off season. But I think he started his prep recently, as far as I know, he's competing at Italy in one of the shows in the UK, I think, that's what I heard. Nathan the Ash also spoke about that, so he's gonna compete against Nathan the Ash at Italy, I think. And yeah, he looks great, he looks massive, he looks big. Hopefully his conditioning at that show is gonna be very good, but I don't think he's a standout at this guest posing. Derek Lansford, our current Mr. Olympia. He came to this show with really good conditioning for the offseason. His next show is Mr. Olympia, so there is no reason for him to be disconditioned right now, but I guess that's just the way he rolls, that's the way he is the entire year. And yeah, today he did look very much impressive. Look at the wee taper. Look at the legs, now that they're bigger. They will be smaller at the show, at the Mr. Olympia, for sure. But they're definitely looking nice and full right now. But I don't think they're big enough to be good enough at the Mr. Olympia if he gets them completely conditioned. His back, his backside is always more conditioned than the front. And that is the case even in the offseason. You can see striations in his glutes and like details in his lower lats. Based on this, do I think he is going to defend his Mr. Olympia title? I think it is very possible. I mean, he won it last year, and I think he's probably going to be the same, maybe a little bit better, hopefully. But, yeah, I don't see any crazy changes, any crazy improvements from last year. As far as Samson Dowd, we saw him recently at the Arnold Classic UK, so there's no point to watch his uh, posing routine. And Martin Fitzwater also, we saw him last week. But now let's go and let's check out this comparison. So can Nick Walker actually beat Derek Lansford at a Mr. Olympia. I mean, Nick is almost ready, almost stage ready. Basically, you can say he's stage ready. And Derek's conditioning is actually comparable, as you can see. His legs are bigger and fuller. His wee taper is a little bit better. Not that much better, but a little bit better. However, Nick is stage ready once again, and Derek is deep into his offseason. His wee taper is going to improve significantly until he gets on stage, and Nick is going to look probably something like this. Uh, now let's check out the side pose, let's see if Nick is that much better. And I think he is, I think he's a lot better. I mean, he has those details that Derek is not gonna have even when he's stage ready. Like the lower chest striation or details in the shoulders, even the details in the side of the leg. So I think Nick might have him in these poses. Now let's check out the back poses, this is probably the most interesting part. Let's see if Nick can compare. To Derek in the back poses because Derek is known he won the Mr. Olympia with his back. Now, of course, the back looks much impressive when he is shredded, but we can compare the size. And Derek has the angle, of course, he always does. He always out angles everybody. Lower body, I have Nick, honestly. Glutes and hamstrings. I think he has just more muscle there. But even though Nick improved his back a lot and his back is just a really good body part for him, you can definitely see a difference in muscularity. Derek's back is just. A different level it's one of the best bags of all time really side tricep the other side shot in which waist and midsection plays a big role and i think nick is actually controlling it very well in this shot now absent eyes horrible pose for both of these guys look at nick horrible bad bad Derek looks good when he pulls a vacuum this is yeah this is good but as far as the abs no not very good and nick worse so basically what we can conclude from this uh, guest posing is that nick walker is yeah going to win the new york pro Look at Martin Fitzwater here, definitely much smaller than Nick or all the other top Olympians. But he definitely can be second place uh, at the New York Pro. Urs Kalecinski and Ramon looking surprisingly big for classic guys. Samson actually looking in a pretty good shape even though he was 8 weeks off. A hunter, big but not a standout here, not really. And once again, you guys tell me, what do you think about Derek versus Nick Walker? Do you think Nick actually has a chance of beating Derek at the Mr. Olympia? Let's imagine Nick comes in more conditioned than this and just overall more impressive, harder, bigger, more conditioned, and Derek looks, let's say, the same as last year. Do you think there is a chance of Nick beating Derek? 
I don't know. I'm not very optimistic about that right now. And Andrew Jack, can he win the Mr. Olympia, for example, one day? And beat Samson and all these guys? Because I think it's definitely a possibility. Whatever you guys think, tell us down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.